This is the plaintiff, Juan Lemus. He says he's known the defendant since she was 17 years old and thought nothing of loaning her some money when she was going through some tough times. Well, now a whole year has passed. This money was hard earned by him. He worked his tail off for it and wants it back. So long time, friend or not, he's suing for the $1,080 he's owed. These are the defendants, Tina and Casey. Tina says she let the defendant sleep on a blow-up mattress in their living room for three months when he got hurt and couldn't work. The guy used their shampoo, toilet paper, toothpaste, you name it, he mooched it. Yes, they did take some money from him and agreed to pay him back, but he owes them for rent he never paid, and now it's up to the judge to decide who owes who what. They're accused of fouling up a friendship. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff loaned his good friend more than a grand and got stiff. But the defendants say they did a lot for the plaintiff, including letting him live rent-free for months, which more than offsets the loan. It's the case of you, who's the moocher? Juan Lemus, and you are suing Tina and Casey. You've asked us not to mention your last names for $1,080 in loans that you say you made to them and that they have refused to repay you. Yes, Your Honor. What's going on? Um, I've known the defendant for a while now, over a decade. Um, she Both came of them? No, I actually, I know Tina for okay. a decade over, you know, give or take. Uh, really good, close friends. Uh, I didn't know, I don't know Casey at all. Tina, actually both of them came to me. Um, you know, first of all, they, had, they came to me and said uh, they needed a loan, first of all. Um, $1,000 loan, you know, the first time. I lent them $1,000. I didn't make them sign anything or, you know, record it or anything, but they paid me back, you know. After two, three months, they paid me back. Two, three months later, they came back to me and they said, Andy, we need another $1,000. You know, kind of felt a little, you know, they didn't feel right about it, but I said, okay, sure. But after, if I'm gonna let you borrow money, I'm gonna need you to sign something and um, record you or something, you know? They agreed to it. I had, made, I had them sign it, I recorded them, and I let them borrow the money. Okay, and do they tell you, have they paid you anything back? Not one Do thing. they tell you why they're not paying you back? No. Have you asked for them to pay you back? Several and times. And what is the response? I don't have the money. Don't have the money. Okay, th so there was the answer was we can't afford it. Yes, sure. I, I don't have the money. Done. Did they ever say to you we don't owe you anything? No, never. Okay. Do you have any texts between you and them? Texts I did, but they raised out on my phone. But I have. Okay. Uh, Show me the promissory note. Yes, ma'am. What's going on? I did respond to him. I had. Um, he stayed with us two. It was about two weeks before Thanksgiving. He was with us for the holidays. Um, like just because he's a good friend? Yeah, yeah. And then he came to me because he had some family issues. His dad put him out and he asked me if he could come stay with me. He stayed with me before. Wait, wait, so he was living with you during that time? Did he gave us the money or lent us? Yes, yes he was. Okay. He, had, he didn't have nowhere to go. His dad, he's always had family issues and we always took him in. Never what had a problem. He was a very, very good What friend. does we took him in mean? Um, he came to live with us. For how long? Um, off and on. He's lived with us. He's even lived with my parents since I've known him, since he was 18. Probably about three times. For how long? Maybe a month or two at a time. You okay, know. so during this time when you, you, you phrase it as you borrowed money. You, you, yeah, you I did it borrow way. money. He you, came to us two weeks before Thanksgiving. Um, his dad had put him out. He asked if he could stay maybe one or two weekends out of the month. He asked, what would you charge Wait, me? What do you mean one or two weekends? Where was he staying the rest of the time? He does truck driving. So okay. he's on the road a lot. He owns okay. his own truck driving business, him and okay. his father. Um, they had a falling out. And he says, I don't have nowhere to go, you know, when I am home. And he said, how much would you charge me? I asked, I said, well, 300. And he says, that's too much for one or two weekends. So I said, well... What do you think? He goes, how about 150? He says, because it's going to be maybe one or two weekends out of the month. So I agreed. I said, OK. Then maybe about a week or so later, he got hurt on the job. So that one or two weekends turned into a few months. A few months. Yes. And then when did he finally move out? Sometime in March. So about in between in November and March, mm -hmm. he's living at your place yes. and paying you any rent or no? The three months he was there, he only gave me $140, and I had to practically beg for that. He ate there. So what's your defense? Your defense is that he owes you enough money where it's a wash? Okay, so 
They borrow money, and but they say, well, we're not going to pay back because we let him live rent-free. Does that offset the loan? No, it doesn't. Why doesn't it? Anybody? Why? Why doesn't it? Because you can't mix business with pleasure. It's a personal situation, and they're getting involved with business. Anybody here give them the money back? No, I would not. I know the money. They borrowed the money. You gotta, you gotta pay them money back to what you borrowed. Other than that, no. I mean, rent free. You should have said at the beginning, hey, you gotta pay me rent. That's the key point. That's the key point. Going inside the courtroom. I'm not denying that I owe him. I just feel I got taken advantage of. Also, but he should have been paying me something more. But are you counterclaiming against him then for rent or whatever else you think he owes you? No. So, Casey, uh, Casey? Hi, Casey. Casey is my name. Do you Thank have a tongue? You. All right, let's talk to you for a little while. Did, uh, were you part of asking for that loan? Yes, I was part of it, and, but what it all boils down to, in the end, I said, yes, we do owe you money, but we need to figure out the value of services because he did stay with us and didn't compensate us for anything, so we're trying to work that out, and he said, no, I want my money. Okay, there's a promissory note did you, that is dated January 7th of 2012, by yeah. which point, according to your testimony, he has been living there for a month. Because you, you got laid off when? I was but laid, laid off, off or what? Or injured no, on the job injured. when? Um, summer, I think March or something like that. I, don't re I really don't recall. Okay, but so between I, I January and March, he was still working? No. According to you, he gets injured when? It was, I'd say, maybe after Thanksgiving, a little after, give, well, around Thanksgiving time, because he was with us for Thanksgiving. Because right, and, but was he with you full time from yeah. Thanksgiving full? Yeah. So you just so remember him being around. the three months that Ironically, he stayed with this me? testimony really hurts you. All right, yeah. so, <laughs> so you say he was around all the time during the holidays and whatever else. Yes. All right, so you say that at the time that this is authored by the two of you, where you say, I, Casey, and Tina, borrow and promise to pay in full within 60 days, $1,000. Yeah. He is already living with you. So if he owes you money, why aren't you working it out that way? Why are you well, saying that this is a separate loan? And then I had gotten No, 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 no. Do you understand what, you're not picking up what I'm putting down. Uh, if, if you say here, you, you're saying to me, judge, we shouldn't have to, that's not a real debt because he owes us money. Mm -hmm. But you said it was a real debt right here yeah. in January. Okay. I when see. the, per, the, when the uh, he owes us money is already happening since November. Yeah. All right. You got who on tape? Um, Casey. Casey. Okay. Let's see it. And how come you don't have her on tape? Um, she, was, she didn't want to be filmed. So I, I was know. there, but I just let him. Okay. <laughs> let's see it. I love I this. This to... is so renegade. Bring me that iPad. All right. Hey, but let me, can I see it? Of course you yeah. Okay, Sorry. turn it up, pause, and give it to my baby. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Casey's laughing. Because we were friends, you know. Yeah, I, mean, I know. I always say, bring me the proof. Casey can borrow 1,000 American dollars <laughs> in regards with the promise to pay back within September 2012. Thank you, have a great day. This is all in 2012? Yes, Your Honor. Yeah. It's, uh, I had to pay taxes for that money already. Mm -hmm. That's the hard-earned money. I told her, this isn't drug money. This isn't money oh. that I just hustled. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> well, yeah, of course, Your Honor. <laughs> this, is, this is my hard-earned money, Your Honor. You know what I mean? This is a, You mean the... taxes on it because it was income? It was, yeah. You mean that you yes, were Your taxed Honor. on it? Yeah. Yes, Your Honor. All right, and what about this $80 loan? When did you? That was just a, another loan. Before, was before or after this? It was before, before. that. You know, it was just a, you know, it, it, was, it wasn't even, it was off the record. It was just, you know, she wanted a loan it, you know, just to buy some food or something like that. Uh, what do you say to him? And all, you guys aren't friends anymore? You've been friends for all these years and now you're not friends over this? Like, yeah. there's no, okay, let and me pay you $5 a month, $10, $5 a week, $10 a week, you know, whatever. You would have been, you would have had like a big chunk of it paid yeah. off. I was real sick. I, I was, I've been in and out of the hospital. I'm diabetic and I had high blood pressure issues and I had surgery also. And he knew that never once did I tell him, I just can't give it to you, you know, I well, don't then why have haven't it, you paid you know, him? I haven't had the money. I haven't been able okay. to work. Well, that's exactly what he yeah. says you said. Well, no, I can't well, give it yeah, to you, I don't have the money. I wasn't being, because so I was So when did you sick. decide that it was gonna be, I don't owe you anything, you owe me? Like, when did you decide yeah. that, uh, did you stay at their place like uh, a uh, long time? Or? No, not a long time. It What's, was off and on, you know what I mean? Um, since she did, she, like she said, we were friends. You know what I mean? I'm still good friends with the family. Um, we were good friends, and we st I stayed at her house. You know what I mean? I, I just, I would Yeah, but did just, you ever have, like, did they ever have, like, a rental agreement with you where you were supposed to pay? 
How long did you stay there? Uh, it was just off and on. You know what I mean? What, I how there. long was off and on? How long? A week here, two weeks there, maybe a three weeks. No. I still And nobody ever mentioned anything about paying rent for, for this I would, and that. Uh, I would buy groceries. You know what I mean? I would chip in here and According there. According to her, you, bought, you went out and bought meat for a pasta sauce and yeah. then charged her 10 bucks $10 for the meat. For it, yeah. And then ate plenty it of helpings. Yeah. But see, that's hard for you to say when you're serving him the helpings. You know? Knows, like, I, in other words, if yeah. you don't act like this isn't a debt, you cannot ask me to act like this isn't a debt. Debt. Verdict for the yeah. plaintiff, $1,080. Okay, thank you. So it's a debt, and that's how the ruling comes down. So what, what's, your, what's your comment on that? He lied. One or two weeks he stayed with us, bought groceries. Why would he no. do that to you after you I don't know. We were friends. I'm too nice. I got to learn who to trust, I guess. All right. All right, head right down there. Come on in here. They did do a lot of nice things for you, obviously, right? They did. They did. They did? Yes, they did. But that wasn't enough to offset any kind of... Uh... It was my hard-earned money. It's your hard-earned money. It is. It's a loan, and that's a, you know, a loan's a loan. All right, Harvey? Okay, well, this dude made the point that if you're going to make a deal to charge for rent, you've got to do it at the beginning, not at the end. 